Hello there, this is George. And in this video, I'll show you how you can convert your sketch designs into a web app with no handoff required. Now with this approach, designers can continue to create designs in Sketch or similar vector tools using workflows they are already familiar with. The only requirement is that designs need to be created using the indigo.design UI kit that we have created for you. Now the fastest way to try the sketch to code workflow is to download the sample sketch files that have been created using the UI kit. This way, you can see exactly how we did it and learn from it. You can download the sample files from the Getting Started section in cloud.indigo.design. Now while you're here, grab the indigo.design UI kit too. Now let's open the people app file we downloaded in Sketch. You will see that there are three artboards created using the UI kit components. Now, in addition to the components, this design uses layout constraints such that components resize correctly when the artboard is resized. We did this by creating meaningful groups of components and then setting up the resize behavior by pinning the edges and fixing the height or width like how it's expected in Sketch. To add new components to your design, you will need the UI kit installed. You can do this by opening the Preferences dialog in Sketch and adding a new library that we downloaded earlier. Once installed, the components can be searched and added using the Insert menu without having to create it from scratch. You can then modify the UI kit components using overrides like any other UI kit. Once you're done creating your designs, you can publish it to the cloud as a prototype to review your designs with others or create a new user test. For now, let's convert this design into a web app. To do this, let's navigate to the My Projects area on cloud.indigo.design and from here create a new app and add the sketch file by dropping it in the upload area. When the process completes, the web app is ready for you to review and edit. It's as simple as that. You will notice a few key changes. First, the UIKit components have been replaced with real components. This allows you to make changes to the components using the Properties panel. And second, we have replaced the absolutely positioned layout in your design into flex layouts meant for the web. You can see this in the document outline where you will find the relevant column and row layouts defined to match your original design vision. Hit Preview to see the app and generated code. But before you generate the app, we'll make some quick edits to make this behave like a single page app. As you can see that we had three artboards in Sketch, so each artboard has been imported as a separate master view. What we need is one master view and then define the other content as child views under it. For that, I'll pick one of the master views as my starting point and create three new child views under it. Let's call these home, edit contact, and add contact. In the master view, we'll keep the app bar up top and the list of contacts. I'm going to copy the rest to my clipboard. And then to host this copied content, let's add a views container component. Now select a child view and paste in the content. And that's it. All that remains is to add interactivity to the add and edit buttons to connect the views. You can learn more about this in our other how-to video on adding interactions to components. This ends our tutorial on how to convert sketch designs created using the indigo.design UI kit into a web app. Check out the other videos on indigo.design app builder and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get updates when we post new videos.